welcome. The, the, the news is finally good. We finally have a fix, uh, which is awesome, to get the Spark 2 to work with the Spark Cab simultaneously. Um, so awesome. And that, again, is thanks to U Looper and Exonic. And they just updated um, and released a firmware upgrade. Um, it's in a beta format, but you can download it. And I just downloaded it, and it works. So let me just uh, show you uh, quickly so you can at least hear the difference. And some people, of course, may ask. Um, again, this just applies to the Spark Cab and the Spark 2. Um, but as you know, whenever you plug anything into the Spark 2, it mutes the speakers up here. Um, and it would only come through the cab. So we now finally um, have a way of getting sound through both. So after you make your connections to the amp and it's powered in, of course the line out goes to the line uh, input. I have it here in the line one on the cab. Um, and then the USB-C runs from the pedal itself um, to the Spark 2. So just to give you an idea of what you used to have, um, in terms of when you plugged this in was when this is just the uh, spark cab. So whenever you were playing All you got was that sound. Okay, now what's nice is with the U looper Now remember you're gonna independently control the volume so you kind of have to blend them by ear You can hear, of course, the spark too. So, it, at least definitely for me, it's a much more balanced sound. You don't just have the sound coming from the cab. Now that you can kind of blend this in, which is nice, I have the volume on the cab just at about 12 o'clock, maybe one. Um, and then of course you have the master up here as well. But really uh, a big difference now when you put them in. But again, you can kind of hear the difference of just the cab. And then of course, once we incorporate, again, you can kind of blend it to your ear. Uh, which is kind of a neat thing. Go back to just the cab. Now we start to put the spark two in with it. So, again, thanks to uh, Exonic and the U Looper pedal um, for getting the firmware out, uh, update out there. And now we finally have this beautiful marriage, and again, kind of as intended. Um, and awesome, you know, we know there's probably some more updates coming and they'll get this all perfected, but for right now it works, it works great, um, and it's a great setup. So I just want to get it out, out there. For those of you looking again to use your Spark 2 um, with the Spark Cab, you can now use them together with the U Looper pedal. Thanks to the new firmware update, just go to their website. Um, again, I'll have a clip here at the end how to do the update um, to show you, so it'll be up and running to go. And guys, again, thanks for checking back in, and please enjoy your Spark 2. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So guys, quickly, the fix is hopefully here. Exonic has released a patch for the U-Looper to get these to work together. So to show you quickly, um, if you need to know how to do this, um, you're simply gonna take your U-Looper pedal, you're gonna plug it in, um, the USB, top left, plug it into your computer. In this case, I'm doing it on a Mac, but you can see here for Windows or Mac OS. And right now it is a beta. So understand that they're looking for some feedback, but so far I've heard the, uh, it is working. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose the U looper. Uh, here it is, beta zip. Okay, uh, get this downloaded. Okay, I'm gonna go and open this. And there we go. All right, we're gonna drag our U looper into the applications folder. All right. Um, we are going to replace with, actually, I'm going to keep both uh, in this case. Now I'm going to go to my applications folder. All right, and here it is, U Looper 2. So here's the original U Looper, and here is the U Looper Updater 2. So that's the second one, which is the beta patch. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm just going to ask you, are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Let's give it a second here. Press and hold the foot switch, then connect the five volt USB. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna update. So I'm gonna try to do this uh, with again, press and hold the foot switch, then connect. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. All right, press and hold the foot switch, then connect. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna try to do this while holding the phone. Uh, I apologize, but there is the 5 volt, so I'm holding this down. Uh, let me try this again. All right, there we go. Now I'm able to hold it down. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And hopefully I can do this with one hand. I apologize really quick. Okay, I'm off camera. Uh, now it turns red. Okay, I'm going to let go of the button. It pops up here. Um, and you'll see again, the button is red. Again, I'm connected to the 5 volt. Allow accessory to connect. I'm going to ahead and click on allow. All right, and now we have our update, U-Looper, update to 1.2.4. All right, preparing for update. There we go. Rock and roll, update finished. The light has now turned from red to purple. Okay, perfect, awesome. I'm gonna click on exit, and now I should be good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, run this and test it and see if it works, but that is how you do the firmware update um, to the U-Looper from Exonic, and again, that is the new beta. Hope that helps, take care.